Newton's second law, N2, tells us that uh, the mass times the acceleration equals the force. Well, not entirely true. To be more precise, the mass times the acceleration equals the sum of the forces uh, that work on, on a body. And to be even more specific, these forces are actually vectors, as is the acceleration. Uh, remember, a force has a magnitude and a direction. The same thing goes for acceleration. The fantastic thing about Newton's second law is that it couples, it connects the motion of a body to the forces that um, act on the body. Typically, these are known, or we assume that we know these forces, whereas the motion of the body is what we want to find out. That's unknown to us, but we can use this law to to um, to compute, to find the acceleration and thereby the motion of the body. And to do that, uh, we're going to use free body diagrams. And I'm going to go through a list of five uh, bullet points uh, to show you how to do it. So here's a typical situation from uh, everyday life. Uh, here we have me pulling a sleigh on which my wife sits. And uh, I'm interested in finding out what's the acceleration of this sleigh. So before I even start, I have to make up my mind what what's the body. Oh, sorry. What's the body of interest? And in my case, that would be the sleigh. Not me, not my wife, but the sleigh. How does a sleigh move? That's what we are out to find out. And the first thing uh, we want to do is to uh, draw the forces. And when I say the forces, I mean the forces that act upon the body, not the forces that the body acts upon other uh, uh, objects with. So first of all, we have like the gravity on the sleigh itself. So that would be M times G. And it's a vector, we can call it W slay. Oh, sorry, slay. It's a vector and it points downwards because that's what gravity does. Also, my wife has a weight, although I'm not going to expose that. So she acts upon this slay by her weight. Um, we can call it W wife. It's a vector as well and it points downwards. Is actually her gravity, but we'll just call it um, weight, W wife. Then there is a normal force, which is the force uh, f uh, from the uh, snow. Usually we'll call it capital N. It's a force which points upwards. It's the force we can feel when we walk on, on the ground. Uh, the force that makes sure we don't fall all the way through the earth. In fact, when you look at it, it's an electric force if you look at the molecule at a molecular level. And then there's uh, the force that I act upon the sleigh with. Uh, I'll just call it F. You know, I'm pulling the sleigh along this in the direction of this string here. And finally, there's a the force that makes life's hard, life hard, and that's the friction force. I'll just call it F frig. It's the force between the sleigh and the, the snow here, uh, which tries to slow down the motion of the, of the sleigh, which will eventually stop the sleigh if I don't keep pulling it. So that's the friction force. And the next step in this procedure is to choose a coordinate system. And when I say choose, I actually mean you can choose any coordinate system you like. But if you want to make life easier for yourself, you'll choose a coordinate system which is parallel to as many of the forces as possible. And you can tell here that I have several vertical forces. I have a horizontal force here. So a good choice would be just a standard XY coordinate system. 
that's not always the case. Sometimes it, you're better off uh, rotating the coordinate system. But in this case, this is certainly uh, your best choice, I would say. And the next step is to write Newton's second law. And actually, I forgot to choose a direction for the uh, acceleration. I'll do that here. You can choose either direction. It doesn't matter. Uh, you won't get different results. I'll get back to that. So the second law is now m a equals, and then we have the uh, the the weight of the sleigh. That's the gravity working uh, acting on the sleigh, and then we have the weight of my wife. And and notice I've put uh, plus signs all the way. That's because it's a sum that we're doing here. It's a sum of vectors. And then we have the uh, the normal force and the friction force and finally my pulling force so there we have it and uh, what we want to do now the next step is to project those forces or you could say project the equation onto the coordinate axes so that from this vector equation i obtain two scalar equations one for the x direction and one for the uh, y direction and let's start off by doing it for the x direction here. Well, for the left hand side of this equation here, the vector equation, I have m times a. a is certainly in the x direction and it's working the way I've chosen the direction here. It's going in the positive x direction. So it just projects onto the x axis the way it looks here. Then we have the friction force. It's also entirely in the x direction, but it's in the negative x direction. So I'll give it a minus here. Notice that these are no longer vectors. These are just scalars. These are just numbers because I'm projecting onto the x axis. And then we have the pulling force that I'm exerting. And well, that's a little bit difficult because it's not entirely in the x direction it's not entirely in the y direction so we actually have to truly project this force here onto the x-axis and what i mean by that is that i want i want this horizontal component of this uh, force here notice the force has length f it has magnitude f the x component is then f times cosine of theta, where theta is this angle here. So that's the horizontal part of, of this force here. It's positive because it works in the positive x direction over here. And then we'll move on to the y direction. In the y direction, there's no acceleration here. So what we get on the left hand side is a zero. Because the accelerate, I know the acceleration is not working. I mean, the sleigh is not going to move up or down. So there's no acceleration in, in the vertical direction. However, there is a, a gravity on the sleigh. There's a gravitational force m times g and that's going to get a minus because it's working downwards whereas the positive y direction is upwards the same thing goes for the wife force it's negative uh, but the normal force is positive it works in the positive y direction and then uh, we do have a contribution from the pulling force here. Um, so that would be the vertical component here. F sine theta. The vertical component of the pulling force. Like that. What we have now here is two scalar equations 
all these symbols now represent numbers, not vectors. And um, what you could do from here, well, I might just want to note one thing. This is actually Newton's first law, since there is no acceleration. So we would say that we've actually stated Newton's first law, which says that um, a body on which the sum of forces is equal to zero doesn't move. Uh, well, that's not entirely true, sorry. What it says is there's no change in velocity. In this special case, the, the sleigh doesn't move in the vertical direction, so that's a special case of no change in velocity. But the general um, statement in Newton's first law is that if there is no, if the sum of forces on an object is zero, then there won't be any change in velocity. And that's true for the y direction of our sleigh here. And in fact, you can say the, the opposite thing as well. So what you would typically do from here is to, to try to figure out what is the acceleration of the sleigh by isolating in this equation. Um, and, and we would assume that we know these forces, although we can allow for one force to be unknown because we have two equations, right? So we can allow for two unknowns in this. And typically, the normal force would be an unknown, which we will then be able to calculate using our knowledge from the other forces. But we do have to know uh, the other forces. The friction force would typically be something like a friction coefficient times the normal force. So altogether, we have it's it's basically an algebraic problem now. We just have to solve two equations and two unknown. But to get here, we used the laws of Newton, the physics, the physics. From here on, it's just math. <laughs>